Adobe Photoshop has been the industry standard for creating, editing, and delivering quality images. Despite its prominence, Photoshop may not be the photo editor you are looking for, whether due to the steep price tag, subscription model, or frustration with all the added Adobe processes on your computer or other factors. What else is out there that can compete? I'm Caleb Porch with Trust Radius, and here are the best Photoshop alternatives. Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo is a photo editing software at an affordable one-time cost. Editing photos on Affinity Photo is seamless with the full resolution live rendering of the photo previews. Affinity Photo is also compatible with all standard file formats, PNG, TIFF, JPEG, GIF or GIF, whichever you prefer, SVG, EPS, EXR, HDR, and PDF. Additionally, most camera raw files are also compatible, though you can check the Serif Labs or the Apple Core Image Raw lists to confirm for your device. Users can feel at ease with saving edits because of the solid undo history feature. Editors can undo and redo over 8,000 steps, which are all displayed as thumbnails alongside the date and timestamp. Looking at the negative points, while it is not necessarily a massive concern, Affinity Photo lacks the tool set for organizing photo collections. It can be cumbersome, especially for those users with a massive photo library. Affinity Photo is limited to Mac OS, Windows, and iOS platforms, so Linux or other device users are left out. Also, there is quite a bit of a learning curve. It does not help that there are not many tutorials out there for guidance. Consumers can buy the iPad app for $21.99 or the desktop version for $54.99 versus the ongoing price for Photoshop. Affinity Photo is best for photographers with advanced editing skills. Photopea. Photopea is a free image online editor. It has a wide variety of editing options, over 40 tools. Some editing tools include auto toning, auto coloring, cropping, rasterizing, blurring effects, and much more. Photopea offers convenience that is hard to top as it is browser based. No installation is required. Since Photopea is an online photo editor, it depends solely on the availability and solid connection of the internet. If the internet connection is unstable, the online editor will lag. Surprisingly, Photopea does not have an autosave feature, which which can be a minor nuisance during editing sessions. Photopea also does not have cloud storage, so final edits must be saved locally or saved to the cloud via Google Drive or Dropbox. Photopea offers a premium plan that removes ads and provides edit history, which costs as low as $3.33. Photopea is best for all users with its basic and advanced editing tools, especially those with limited hardware and budget. GIMP. GIMP is a free and open source image editor. There's a readily available source code on GitHub so developers can fetch the code, alter it, and distribute those changes. GIMP can integrate with programmable languages such as Scheme, Python, and Perl. This integration allows enhanced customizations through third-party plugins and scripts. Moreover, there are many resources relevant to GIMP. On the GIMP website, there are tutorials, GIMP news, GIMP updates, and documentation. The active community of GIMP users and developers is passionate about the product. Volunteers can update the source code with new feature releases. There's even a link to report bugs and add more documentation. Unfortunately, users say that the loading time for GIMP can be slow, especially for larger files. The GIMP user interface is not intuitive and users specifically struggle with the cropping tool. GIMP is best for individuals, small businesses, and those looking to develop their own editing software version of GIMP. Photoshop isn't the end all option for photo editing anymore. There are Photoshop alternatives that might even be more suitable to your needs. Whether you care more about the pricing, tools, compatibility, or even user interface, there is a photo editor that might check off most of the boxes on your list. Do you use a different Photoshop alternative that you prefer? Let us know about it in the comments. Thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe for more and head over to TrustRadius.com for detailed reviews, comparisons, and software alternatives.